last talk of the session. Uh, so, buoyancy will uh, present novel side channel attacks on quasi cycle code based uh, cryptography. Thank you for your introduction. Hello, I'm Bo Yeon Shim, who is studying at Shikada Laboratory of Gungmin University. Today, I'm going to talk about novel side channel attacks on quasi cyclic code based cryptography. This is joint work with Samsung SDS. As you know, the security of public crypto systems is primarily based on the difficulty of number theory problems, such as vector large integers or finding discrete logarithms. However, Shor proposed an algorithm that can solve such problems in polynomial time, given a practical large-scale post-quantum uh, quantum computer. Since quantum computers become critical threats to the current PKCs, there are an increasing need for post-quantum cryptography that is secure against both quantum and classical computers. Therefore, lattice-based, multivariate, hash-based, and code-based cryptography schemes are mainly studied. In December 2016, the NIST announced the corporate proposals for PQC standardization. In the first round of submissions, 69 proposals were accepted. In the following second round, 26 candidates have been survived, and the second PQC standardization conference was held in Santa Barbara last week. Code-based cryptography is one of promising candidates of this PQC standardization. In particular, quasi-cyclic code-based cryptography have recently received extensive attention due to the smaller key sizes and efficiency in terms of computational complexity. QC code consists of circulant matrix, which loads a cyclic shift of its first one. Then a syndrome of a vector C is calculated as the sum of the multiplications of some matrices. However, the syndrome computation, which is the main operation of QC code-based cryptography, has been reported to be vulnerable to timing attacks. Accordingly, Cho suggested a constant time multiplication for QC code-based cryptography to mitigate timing attacks. The first law of H0 can represent the whole matrix, and an array of indices with a value of 1 is enough to represent H0. Thus, the multiplication of submatrices can be calculated as the sum of vectors left rotated by the index value, and they are calculated by constant time multiplication. Here is an example. The vector is expressed as byte byte array, and an index with a value of 1 is D. Then, firstly, the computation is started from the left rotation with the 7 bit. In this example, the D7 is 1, so the rotated value is selected and saved. Secondly, the left rotation with D6 is performed. Since the D6 is 1, the rotated value is selected and saved. Thirdly, the left rotation with D5 is performed. Since the D5 is also 1, the rotated value is selected and saved. Firstly, the left rotation with D4 is performed. However, the D4 is 0. The unrotated value is selected and saved. Fifthly, the left rotation with D3 is performed. Since the D3 is 1, the rotated value is selected and saved. Lastly, the left rotation with from D2 to D0 is performed by the sequence of logical instructions. Since the same logic operations are always performed, it is constant time. This countermeasure was later found to become vulnerable to a differential power analysis. However, the proposed DPA still could not completely recover accurate security indices, requiring further solving linear equations to obtain entire security information. Then, we may have these questions. Is there no method allowed to recover accurate security indices using only side channel attacks? Our answer is that it is possible to recover accurate security indices using only side channel information. This is our first contribution. By the way, their countermeasures effectively remove the information leak against DPA. Moreover, 
There are crypto systems using ephemeral key pairs, which inherently provide resistance against DPA. At this time, we may have these questions. Is, the, is it impossible to attack using only a single trace? Our answer is that it is possible to recover secret indices using only a single trace. This is our second contribution. Our experiment results show that the bike and Redacrypt, which are the second round candidates of the NIST PQ standardization, may become vulnerable to our proposed attacks. Since syndrome computations of these two schemes were not designed to resist side channel attacks, we assume that the countermeasures are applied to remove each of TA and DPA vulnerability. We divide the attack position into two parts to find D. The word unit rotation to find bits from D7 to D3, and the bit rotation to find bits from D2 to D0. Contrary to the previous attack, our proposed attack exploits the fact that rotation is always carried out and also that data to be saved is determined by depending on the secret bit value. Thus, the occurrence position of the power consumption associated with the intermediate value is determined according to the secret bit value. This is a power consumption trace of the constant time multiplication. Since software implementation is considered here, the power consumption is assumed to be affected by the Hamming rate of the intermediate value. We first categorize properties of the word unit rotation. Here is an example of, of first property. The rotation is always performed and an unrotated value is chosen when di is zero. Thus, r is rooted and saved in the first loop. Contrarywise, when di is one, rotated value is chosen. Thus, r is only rooted in the first loop. Therefore, we can find di by identifying whether a high correlation with R occurs sequentially twice in the first loop. Here is an example of second property. When the I is one, the rotate value is chosen. Thus, the high correlation with R occurs sequentially twice at the left rotated position, which is different iteration with the prior key bit the I plus one. Contrarywise, when the i is zero, the unrotated value is chosen. Thus, the high correlation with r occurs sequentially twice at the same iteration with the, with the prior key bits the i plus one. Subsequently, on the word unit rotation, we can find most significant bits of d based on the property one. And can find bits from d6 to d3 based on the property two. To recover the remaining bit from D2 to D0, we target the bit rotation part. We can calculate the result of the word winning rotation because we found bit from D7 to D3. Thus, we only guess the L value from 0 to 7 when we guess the leftmost, wo leftmost word of the result of bit rotation. At this point, the L value and the last three bit value of D are the same. We mount a correlation power analysis using these two points of interest and find the last bit. 50 traces are sufficient for the attack. As a result, we can accurately recover all security indices regardless of word size and security level. The previous DPA could not completely recover accurate security indices. Moreover, it was not even feasible to solve such equations with, with target crypto systems running on 64-bit processor. Contrary to the previous attack, our proposed attack can recover entire security indices regardless of word size and security level. Next, we explain the proposed single trace attack. The proposed attack exposed the fact that rotation is always carried out and also that the mask value as determined by the value of the secret bit is used to obtain accurate result. When calculating the result, the mask and invert mask values which are decided depending on the I value are used. 
since in software implementations, the power consumption depends on the Hamming weight of the intermediate value, it is possible to find secret bit by classifying the power consumption traces into two groups based on the bit dependent values. We identified where the difference in power dis consumption distri distribution occurred depending on the qubit dependent properties. From the comparison with the actual operation, we identify that two distributions are clearly, clearly distinguished. One is when the i is zero and the other is when the i is one. Hence, the bit from D7 to D3 can be accurately found using clustering algorithm. To recover the remaining bit from D2 to D0, we target the bit rotation part the most commonly used 8-bit AVR and 16-bit MSP processors only provide single-bit shift instructions. Thus, a one-bit write shift operation is repeated L times, and a, and a one-bit left shift operation is repeated eight minus L times. Therefore, we can identify the number of one-bit write shift operations by simple power analysis. As at this point, the L value and the last three bit value of D are the same, thus the re remaining bits can be identified. Since the most commonly used 32 bits and 64 bits processors supports are better shifter, thus multiple bit shifts are performed within a single cycle, clock cycle. It is difficult to identify the last value of D. Thus 32 and 64 Candidates are remain respectively, requiring to recover accurate indices with additional algebraic computation. As a result, we can accurately recover all security indices if processor provides single bit shift instructions. Even if processor does not provide single bit shift instructions, we can extract subcenter parts of security indices by attacking on the world unit rotation part. Our experiment results show that the bike and ladder crypt, which are constructed using QC MDPs and QC LDPs code, respectively, may become vulnerable to our proposed attacks. Since syndrome computations of these two schemes were not designed to resist side channel attacks, we assume that the countermeasures are applied to remove each of TA and DPA vulnerability. Crypto systems using ephemeral key pairs inherently provide resistance against multiple traces attacks. In this case, bike one, we can find H with our proposed attack during syndrome computation. Whereas in the case of bike two and three, it is possible to find H zero. Then it is possible to calculate H one using the recovered H zero and the public key F. Since we obtain the secret H, it can be used to perform bit flipping decoding to extract a secret message from a received vector over a public code. In the case of letter crypt, PKC, the secret indices that represent L can be recovered with our proposed attack. In the case of letter crypt cam, L and zero minus one can be recovered by our proposed attacks. Consequently, it is possible to derive L using the recovered L and zero minus one and the public key K P. Accordingly, not only L, but also the secret message can also be retrieved. In conclude, we propose a multiple trace attack with which enables to completely recover accurate security indices and also a single trace attack which can even work when using ephemeral key or applying ex existing DPA countermeasures. We also discussed that the bike and letter crypt may become vulnerable to our proposed attacks. As for the single trace attack, the hiding methods such as random noise and dummy operation can be applied to increase attack complexity. It would, would be one of the interesting future research topic to construct theoretically sound countermeasure against the single trace attack proposed in this paper. Thanks for your attention. Any question? I'm 
I have a question. Did you have the chance to talk with the design team of the ciphers? Do uh, they have any No, not yet. <laughs> no? Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, thank the speaker again. Time for lunch. <laughs>